Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about energy nukes and something really cool happening in Tennessee. In Oak Ridge, Tennessee, sits a special facility with a long history. The Secret City was built in the 1940s by the Army Corps of Engineers, and the facilities there played a major role in the Manhattan Project. Three plants there, S-50, Y-12, and K-25, enriched the uranium that was shipped to Los Alamos, where it was used in Little Boy, a place that helped develop the incomprehensible horrors of nuclear war doesn't exactly sound like a place where something cool would be happening, but it is. Today, the same facility where the uranium was enriched in the 1940s, a new project is taking older nuclear warheads and breaking them down. But it doesn't stop there. The uranium in the warheads is melted down and downblended with non-weapons grade uranium to produce a high assay, low enriched uranium known as HALU. What is HALU? Well, you might have heard talk about the next generation of nuclear power plants. They always get described as being cheaper, safer, smaller, requiring less maintenance, and so on. The thing that doesn't get mentioned is that those new reactors need a different kind of fuel. They need HALU. Now, you don't actually have to use older nuclear weapons to make it. It's not even the most efficient way, but it's a way that it's being produced right now. There are significant supply chain issues when it comes to producing this type of fuel. This is a workaround as U.S. infrastructure to enrich the uranium comes online. Eventually, U.S. production will get to the point where this process isn't necessary, but maybe they'll continue. There's an infusion of billions of dollars from the federal government coming to get production up to speed. It will likely take years to get the enrichment capabilities where they need to be for the scale of production that is needed. Estimates put it around the year 2030. Now, from a wider climate viewpoint, the idea is to use this type of nuclear power to supplement everything else. Personally, I like the idea of nuclear weapons being turned into energy in a positive way. There's something poetic about the nuclear weapons that were for so long seen as the thing that would wipe out humanity becoming part of the solution to the climate crisis threatening humanity today. The fact that the new material for energy is being processed at the same facility that processed the material for war makes it even better. I understand that this is primarily occurring because of supply chain issues, a need for energy, cost efficiency, international issues slowing down trade of needed materials, and all sorts of other pragmatic reasons. I know this isn't a philosophical victory. I know it isn't quite swords and plowshares, but I'll take it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.